everybody, welcome back. I'm here again with another phonics video. My name's Miss Simmons and I'm one of the teachers with the Hanwick Trust and I'm going to be your online teacher again today. Um, we're going to have another look at a new sound today and have a practice of some of the sounds that you know already and then at the end of the video there's going to be another job for you to do, okay? Today, at the end of the video, we're going to be looking at writing with our new sound. So last time it was reading, this time it's going to be writing. So the first thing we need to do is we need to look at some of the things that you might need. So you're going to need today your pencil and your paper and you're still going to need your listening ears, your good sitting and your eyes looking so you can see all of the sounds on my screen. So if you don't have those things ready yet, go and get them for me. You might want to pause the video. Okay, now you're ready. I'm going to put the sounds on the screen and see how many you remember. So are you ready? I'm going to show you the first one. But first, Remember, my actions might be different to your actions. So I'm going to do the ones that I know, and you can do the ones that you know. If you're not sure, just copy what I'm doing, and we can do some different ones for today, all right? Ready for first sound? tricky words now remember we can't sound them out can everyone say that with our tricky words we can't sound them out good one everybody what we're going to do is we're going to say them so I know go to the Oh, we've got the big one, into. Good job, everyone. And now we've got our robot arms again, ready for our robot words. And he says, can you robot talk these words? I think we can. I think we're really good now at robot talking our words. But remember, we need to warm up our robot arms. So first, what I want you to do is I want you to move them forwards like this. Can you do this? Can you do this? Oh, that's quite tricky. Can you put them in the air? Can you touch your head? Can you do this? Oh, and can you show me robot arms? Oh, good one. You are very quick then showing me your robot arms. You're getting really good at them. So we're going to have a look at our pictures today. We have got oh, lots of the same ones and there's a different one. I wonder if you can spot which one is different today. Which one can you see on here that's different? You're right, we did our er uh sound last time. So we've got an er uh picture and this picture is run. Starts with an for run. So we're going to do this one first, I think. I'm going to do my turn first. I'll let you know when it's your turn. Ready? My turn. Er, ah, n, run. Your turn. Er, ah, n, run. Oh, that was very quiet. I think we can do it louder. Ready? Let's do it louder this time. I want to hear everybody saying it. Ready? Run. Er, ah, Mm, run. Oh, that was much better. I think next we're going to do mud. What's the first sound in mud? Mm, 
mm, for my good job. I want to remember, I want to hear everybody saying the sound. So it's my turn first, but you can join in if you want to. Mud, mm, uh, d, mud. Oh, I could hear some children saying it already. It's your turn now for mud. Ready? Mm, uh, d, mud. Good one. That was really loud. Right, this time we're going to do our robot arms a bit different. This is what the children in my class like to do. We get our little fingers and we do little teeny tiny robot arms. Would you like to try it? We're going to do the word dog with our little teeny tiny robot arms. Ready for dog? My turn first. D -o -g dog. Oh, can you do it with your little teeny tiny robot arms? Ready? Dog. D -o -g dog. Good one. Did you like the little arms? They're fun, aren't they? Should we do one more with our little ones and we'll go back to our big robot arms? So we're going to do ten with our little ones. My turn first. T -e -n ten. Your turn. Remember, use your little robot arms. Mm, ten. Perfect. Now, back to our big robot arms and we're going to do the word pet. Ready? My turn first. P -e -t, pet. Your turn. P -e -t, pet. Wonderful! You're getting really good at sounding out your words. So, we're going to go on and see what our new sound is today. So you need to have really good looking eyes. Are you ready? Oh, we've all oh, got one of those hopefully. So let's see if we can wiggle and shake our hand. And that's a clue for what our sound is today. Does anyone know what the first sound you can hear in hand? Oh. It also gives us a clue for our action. Let me show you. This is the sound. <sighs> so you've got to get your hand by your cheek, push it forward like the air coming out your mouth, have your mouth open like mine and say, <sighs> oh, that's really good. See how hard you can do it. Make sure you do a quick one, ready? <sighs> oh, it would be a bit silly, wouldn't it, if we went, take way too long so you need to make sure it's nice and quick okay so you put your hand here and we say <sighs> good job so it's sound is <sighs> but its letter name is H so it sound is <sighs> but its name is H its name is H but its sound is hand. Good one. Let's see what our pictures say. Oh, we've got lots today. We've got a boy. Now, boy doesn't start with a sound. That starts with a b sound. So we're not going to call him a boy. We're going to call him him. Him. We've got, oh, a bunny can hop. So we've got hop and him then we've got a hat and we've got a house and we've got a hot dog wow so we've got lots of pictures here i wonder if there's anybody watching who likes hot dogs i bet there's lots and lots of children out there who like hot dogs i like hot dogs i wonder if you like having tomato sauce on your hot dog Shall we do that one first? Let's do hot dog first. It's very tricky because hot dog is actually two words squashed together. So what we have to do is we have to sound out hot first, then we sound out dog and we push them together. So it's going to be my turn first and I'll show you. Make sure you have those listening ears. Ready? <sighs> oh. Hot, it's the first word, dog. D-o-g, dog, that's two words. 
Okay, so we've got hot dog. Wow. So let's see if we can do that together. So first we're gonna sound out hot. You do it first with me. Hot, hot. Now we're going to do dog. Z, o, g, dog. Hot, dog. Good one. Now we're going to do hop, hop. Right, so we're going to get our robot arms and we're going to sound out hop. You might want to stand up for this one. Stand up and see if you can sound out hop. Ready? My turn first. <sighs> oh, <sighs> hop. Ooh. Your turn. <sighs> oh, hop. Can anybody show me what a hop is? Can you hop? It means you have to stand up and stand on one foot and jump into the air only using one of your feet. Can you show me? Wow, you're so good at hopping. Okay, stop now and everybody sit back down and we're going to do the next word. Are you ready? Have you got your eyes looking? Have you got your ears listening? Okay, we're going to do him. Ready? My turn. <sighs> I, m, him. Your turn. Ready? <sighs> I, m, him. Oh, you're getting a little bit quiet again. Make sure I can hear you saying those sounds. And I want to hear you really loudly when we do this one. We're going to do hat next. My turn first. Hear how loud I say my sounds. Ready? Hat. Hat. Your turn. Make sure I can hear you. Hat. Hat. Good one. And the last one is house. Can anybody tell me what the first sound in house is? <sighs> Do we go? <sighs> no, we don't go. <sighs> Everybody try it. Everyone go. <sighs> Doesn't it make you feel sad? So when we say our uh, for house, we do it nice and quickly. Ready, you do it. <sighs> Good one. Right, I think you're ready. I'm turning the screen blue. Does anybody know what that means? You're right, I'm going to show you how we write our <sighs> sound. So I've got my board ready. So I'm going to show you how we write our <sighs> sound. Now, the <sighs> sound is very very tall which means you have to start it way up high in the sky it's probably going to be one of your tallest letters in your word when you write it so you start up right up top high up in the sky and you've got to go all the way down and over wow i've got two really tall <sighs> sounds. Let me see if you can do that using your nose today. So you're going to start up with your nose high up in the sky. You're going to draw your <sighs> sound and you're going to go all the way down with your nose and over. Didn't you do it? Should we try it one more time with our nose? Ready? Put it up high in the sky and go all the way down and over. Good one. This time, can you do it with your magic finger, ready? Start up high up in the sky. Go all the way down and over. If you have an adult with you there, go and get them now. And we're going to try one more thing. Are they there yet? Ready, I'll give you five more seconds to get your adult. One, two, three, four, five. Are they there? Right, now your adults there. Adults, we need your help. What I want you to do is I want you to sit down on the floor and your child is going to sit behind you and they're going to draw a sound using their finger on your back. Okay, so everybody sit down on the floor. 
and then your child needs to be sat behind you. Children, get your magic finger ready. You need to put your finger on their back, right at the top near their head, and go all the way down and over. Oh, I bet that tickles your adults, didn't it? Should we do it one more time when your adults ready? So you start all the way at the top near their head, go all the way down and over. Oh, I bet that was really tickly. Thank you, adults. You can go back to what you were doing now. We're going to make sure we've got ready for our next bit of learning. So we are going to have a look at some words and see if we can read them, see if we can get it right and match it to the picture. Are you ready? Let me show you the first one. Shall I give you a sneak peek? Ready? <gasps> oh, I wonder what it says. Can you tell me? Could you have a go on your own and read it first without my help? Shall I see? So I'm going to put my finger under the sounds for you and see if you can read it without me. Are you ready? Oh, I could hear some children. You were saying this word, you were saying, my turn now. <sighs> at. Oh, can you tell me what that says? <sighs> at. <sighs> at. Hat. This word says hat. I wonder if any of you have a hat at home. Shall we see what this hat looks like? Oh, this is a woolly hat. You wear that hat in the winter. Ready? Next one. Oh, finger under the sounds. Let's do it together. See if you can say the sounds the same time as me. Ready? Hot. Hot. Oh, what does hot mean? Shall we see what hot means on our screen? Oh, this is a fire. If any of you have been camping, your fire will be very hot. Next one. Oh, this is a tricky one. I'm going to have my turn first. Ready? My turn. A <sighs> hut. Your turn. I wonder what a hut looks like. I wonder if any of you have seen a hut. Shall I give you a little clue? Sometimes you see a hut at the beach. I wonder if anybody has seen a hut. Shall I show you what one looks like? It's like this. It's like a little house on the beach where you can keep all of your things. It is a hut. Hut. Right, I think you're ready for the next bit. We are going to do next some captions. Right, I think you're ready for the next bit now. This time, we're not going to have pictures. We're just going to have words. So you're going to read the words with me. Are you ready? I'm going to show you the words. This one says, my turn. <sighs> ah, mm, ham. Your turn. Ready? <sighs> ah, mm, ham. Good one. Next one. This one says, my turn. <sighs> oh, hop. Your turn. Ready? <sighs> oh. Hop. Oh, next one. We're going to do these quick. Oh, this one says, my turn. <sighs> I, mm, him. Your turn. <sighs> I, mm, him. Oh, I can really hear you. Make sure you're saying those sounds nice and loud so I can hear you. Last one of these words. My turn. <sighs> I, hip. Your turn. <sighs> I, Hip. Right, next we are going to do that word I was talking about earlier, the exciting word. It was hot dog. This here is the word hot dog 
and when you sound out hot dog, it is so long that we chop it in half. So first we're going to sound out this part of the word and then we are going to sound out this part of the word. So should we do this together? Right, so I'm going to sound out the first word with you. So should we sound it out together? Ready? Hot, hot. Next one. D -o -g dog. Hot, dog. Well done, you're getting really good at that. We're going to practice that another time. So next we've got another one. We're not going to do a word, we're going to do a caption. So this one isn't a sentence because it hasn't got a capital letter and it hasn't got a full stop at the end. So let's sound it out together. My turn first. I, n, in. Now some of you might be thinking, I know that's an I and I know that's an I, n, and I know together it makes in. And you might think, I don't need to sound that out anymore. I just know that that word is in. So you might just say, in, tricky word, the, h, a, t, hut. In, the, hut. Right, there might still be children who need to sound out in. So we're going to sound it out. But if you don't need to, you can just say, in. Ready? Your turn. I, n, in. Tricky word. The, h, a, t, hut. All together. In, the, hut. Good one. Right, next one. My turn first. H, o, p, hop. A, n, d, and. P, o, p, pop. Hop. Your turn, ready? Pop. All together, hop and pop. Good one. Right, this next one is a sentence. Oh, I think that some of you might like to do the thing that this sentence says. Should we find out what it says? Ready, my turn. Make sure you have your listening ears ready. H a g hug. Tricky word. The d o g dog. <gasps> hug the dog. I wonder if there's anybody watching that would like to hug a dog. I bet there is. Let's see if you can have your turn ready. H a g hug. Tricky word. The d o g dog all together hug the dog. Now, can you see at the start this capital letter here? Does anyone know what that sound is? You're right, it's the h sound. Still makes that sound, but it is a capital letter because it's at the start of a sentence. B. So, this is the last one we're going to do and it's a bit of a long one and I want you to see if you can try and read this one without me, okay? So I'm going to point to the words and point to the sounds and see if you can read it on your own and afterwards I'll read it to you and you can see if you got it right. But you don't need to worry if you got it different to what I got because we're practicing together, aren't we? And one day you'll be able to read just like all of the other adults. So your turn first, not my turn. I'm not going to say any of the sounds this time. Finger under the sounds with me. Shall I tell you what it says? It says tricky word the h at hat it's is in in tricky word the h at hut all together.
The hat is in the hut. Oh, I think I heard that some of you got that right. Well done. Right. Our screen has gone pink again. So what I would like you to do is I'd like to go you to go and get your adults again. And I am going to count to ten. Ready? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, we've got some of the adults. Not all the adults are here. I think they might be being a little bit slow. Is everybody there? Perfect. So adults, I've got some words up on my screen again today. So what I would like you to do is I'd like you to practice writing some of these words. So what your child needs to do is you need to pause the video and they're going to sound out each of the words and push them together, blend them together so they can read the whole word. So this one will be hop, hop. And then what they need to do is they need to pick again, I think three words for them to write. Now, what you will need is a sound map. Now, you can get these on a website called Twinkle, like I've said before, but you do sometimes have to pay for things. Or you can have a look online and type it into Google, my phase two sound map. And there might be some other ones that come up as well that you can print off and use. But it is very, very useful for them. It does help. So when you pick your three words, what you might want to do is if your children are feeling a little bit confident, then you could cover over the words and hide them. And your children will be able to tell you the word. So say if you picked hop they'll say hop and you'll say right what's the first sound in hop and they'll say oh <sighs> right write the sound <sighs> on your piece of paper right we're writing hop what's the next sound <sighs> oh 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 so they'll find their oh sound and copy it onto their piece of paper now it will take a long time and it is very tricky. So if they are finding it hard and they can't do all three, then that's fine. And maybe just get them to practice writing the sound a few times, okay? So that's the first level. So the children who are just sort of starting out writing and they can pick three words to write. And then my next level, my second level, I'm going to show you A, another caption and what I'd like them to do is oh I don't quite know why it's not in the box but I want them to try and write it so again you'll need the sound map and you'll need to pause the video maybe hide what's on the screen and see if they can write a cat in a hat now what I would do for this one is when they're writing it the letter A is a bit tricky, so you might want to give them that and show them on the sound chart, which it is. And I usually say, oh, my sound is A, but my name is A. And the children always do seem to find it, but if you've got one of these, it'll be really useful. This one is quite big, an A4 one would be fine, or if you have it on your iPad, maybe. So they'd write A, then after the A, they would need to do a finger space on their piece of paper. So if I show you how to do that. So first, they would write their A. So I find it on my sound chart, write it on my piece of paper. And then I put my finger there. So I say A, finger space, and now we're going to write cat. What's the first sounding cat? I wonder if there's any children out there that can tell me. Oh, it's a k sound. And this time we're going to use the curly k. And it's okay for you to tell your children that too. Tell them that they need to use the curly one. K. K. I might need to use my robot arms for cat. K. Ah, 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 a k. Ah. And I'd find that on my sound chart as well and write it. So they're going to be writing a cat in a hat. 
all right? So that's for the second level. For the third level, I'm going to go back to these words. So if you're still on the second level, I pause the video now. And for the third level, what I'd like your children to do again is to use their sound chart for their writing bit. But I want them to pick two words to use in their writing. So they might want to write a red hat or they might want to write it is hot. OK, try and make sure they've got a capital letter at the start and finger spaces in between just like the level two and again they can use their sound chart to find all of those sounds it will make it so much easier for them and um, to write it if they've got one of these sound mats all right so i'll let you get on with that pause the video now and enjoy Hello everybody, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that job and you did lots and lots of lovely writing. Um, I really enjoyed teaching my phonics lesson today and I hope you come back again to see another one soon. I hope you really enjoyed this. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.